Before this video starts, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support on the last video. Now, because we have hit 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane, I have uploaded a community post on my YouTube channel where you can actually vote for what you would like to see for 1K sub special. Also, someone in the comments section of the last video commented um, wondering about my statistics after the last video. So if you want to see that, statistics, times mind, stone, 100,000, sandstone, 32,000, pistons, 18,000, glazed terracotta, 8,000, and obsidian, 6,000, times crafted, spruce planks, 12,000, pistons, times used, pickaxe a lot, as you can see, I've placed about 80,000 pistons, which is kind of crazy. But now with that all out of the way, let's continue on with this video. This is my EOL farm, and it's clear that it is very efficient. So much so that I will spend this next 100 days repairing farms, upgrading farms, and building many, many shulker box loaders, which still isn't enough to sort the 1.5 million items per hour that this farm produces. And if you do end up enjoying this video, if you could subscribe, that would mean a lot to me as these videos take a while to make. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fix this shulker farm because the shulker in there has died. So I'm, I'm going to need to create a system uh, for when a shulker dies to bring in a new shulker. And one of the materials is actually powered rails, but thankfully from the last episode, I have a lot of powered rails. I've now got pretty much every single item that I will need. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this nether portal. And now I've got to be really careful because I have to rebuild this entire system around that shulker. Are you kidding me? Did he just kill himself? And now for this overworld side, what I have to do is I've just got to cover this entire wall, uh, in walls. I've now placed down all of the trapdoors and all of the walls, and now I've got to actually waterlog each and every one of them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place soul sand. And so now when we go through this portal, where it should take us, is it should actually take us to the bottom portal. Which it does. So everything is actually correct. And so now for about the one billionth time, I've got to transport another shulker to the overworld. And there we go. I'm gonna break that block. Alright, there we go. So that I don't waste too many fireworks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up my render distance and simulation distance so that this machine won't get unloaded. And there we go. And now I've got to make a minecart track that goes all the way over to this other minecart track that I already have. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I don't have a minecart track. All I'm saying is I hope after this I never have to deal with shulkers ever again. Alright, now I've built this entire. What? So this guy gone like invisible? Wait, what? Oh, that was very weird. Oh my gosh, don't kill yourself. Are you kidding me? No! Okay, okay, that's it. I, I'm, I'm gonna need to get some instant health potions. Stop. No. Oh my goodness, he just duplicated like five times. Oh my goodness. Get in a minecart. The system's not even on. Yeah, no, he, he teleported to the other side. Okay, that's not good. What I've gotta do is I've gotta turn on that system and you'll see it will all fall into each of these trenches. A new shulker should have been brought. Oh, I think it's because I rotated this. Okay, so I've now modified the design. If I flick this lever, we should have a shulker right there. Clearly something's gone wrong. The minecart system did work. It's just that the shulker was on the wrong side. Okay, so that's actually really good to know. All right, and now the last thing to be done, I promise you guys, the last thing to be done with this shulker farm 
is just to go inside and turn on that lever. Yes! And unfortunately, despite all that, the Shulkers managed to teleport to the one other block he could have teleported to. That is so annoying. Come on. Alright, I've broken that block. There's literally no other block that he should be able to teleport to. Are you actually kidding me? How can one shulker be this stupid? Ooh, 14 shulker shells already. Not bad at all. And now there is still the problem that I'm constantly running out of redstone while building this farm. And since I'm gonna be making so many of these shulker box loaders, I'm actually going to need to make something called a stacking raid farm. But of course, there was a problem. Most stacking raid farms require a mod called Carpet Mod, which allows you to create player bots and use an accurate auto-clicker. Obviously, I don't want to use that mod in my world, so I just decided to choose a simpler option. And one of the materials that this farm actually requires is glass. So I'm actually going to use this purple stained glass, because I was using it um, to fill in the gaps so that uh, in the UL farm, so, uh, so that slimes and spiders wouldn't be able to spawn because they're just an absolute pain. And um, I ended up not using any of it because I was update suppressing the glass. And I've also decided that I want to build this raid farm nearby my other raid farm so that it can be nearby the pillager outpost for easy access. And I've now found the perfect spot to build this, and thankfully it's really easy to build, because a lot of the blo a lot of the blocks are just lava cast. If you haven't already figured this out, this farm is designed by ENX04, and it is a very good design. I know I set the bar high from the last video, but I can assure you that I will upgrade this farm eventually. And what I can also assure you is that there are some really cool projects that I have planned. So if you subscribe right now, I promise you won't regret it. And now I've got the very fun process of having to transport five villagers over to the raid farm. Yeah, something tells me this whole process is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Alright, and here's the first villager. Alright, get in there. Okay, well, I was flying around and I managed to spot this floating tree. What on earth? And here's the second villager, the third and the fourth villager as well. And after getting the fifth villager as well, the last thing to do is to actually get that omen and to test it out. And now one thing I've noticed is that this farm, it actually doesn't work with Knockback 2. So that means I'm gonna need to make a new sword without Knockback 2. And I've got looting, sharpness 5, raid farmer. And, and after a little bit, as you can see, the farm has gotten to full speed. And it's actually working perfectly. I can hear a lot of mobs dying in the background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave. As you can see, there's a lot of mobs there. Oh, there's still mobs up there. Oh, oh, and they've spawned in vexes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Die. Oh no. All right, it's AFKing time. Well, I have been AFK for a long time. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see how much loot we've gotten. Okay, so this is all the redstone that we've got. Finally, I am not broke. And all of these emeralds, all of these emeralds, and you may think that that's a lot of emeralds, but the funny thing is that that's not anywhere near how many emeralds I would have gotten because I actually ran out of storage for all of the emeralds. And since this farm is so efficient, I decided to make many of these Shulker Box item filters. First, it sorts out the item and then it loads it into shulker boxes. And now let's start with the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, okay, so also filler, that is going to be right there. And I have to do that for every single one of these. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna make this into a double speed item filter. Okay, well that build is cool and all, but how did it just appear out of nowhere? And where did you get all the materials to build it? Uh, okay, let's go back. 
For a building block, I chose emeralds since I was so rich in them. And according to my material list, we're also going to need about 21 and a half stacks of um, hoppers. So yeah, I better get gathering a lot of wood. And since I've already mined up a load of cobblestone, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect up a load of quartz, just like last time. And it would also appear that because of my lack of iron, I've actually got to tear down all of these iron beacons that I've created. <laughs> I've now gathered up a load of redstone torches, a load of stone, and a load of nether quartz, because the next item that we need a lot of is comparators. Hey, I just remember what I hate most about dispensers. Crafting them. And there we go, I finally crafted all of the dispensers that I'll need. The last thing to be done is to make every single one of these item sorters. And now let's start with the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, okay, so also filler, that is going to be right there. And I have to do that for every single one of these. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna make this into a double speed item filter. And after adding in all of the filler items and all the shulker boxes, testing out the end of light farm, and realizing that endermen are a huge pain and that my entire system needs to be revamped. I have now survived 1,100 days in hardcore Minecraft. 